So you've probably heard of the term carbon sequestration. Carbon sequestration is just the capture of atmospheric carbon dioxide um, in different plants, water bodies, and in the soil. Plants have the ability to sequester carbon through photosynthesis. So they're using carbon to do photosynthesis and then they're emitting oxygen. Of the different plant types, trees can really sequester the greatest quantity of carbon. Um, they do this because they're holding carbon in their trunks, they use carbon to, to grow their branches, of course their whole canopy with all their leaves all have carbon in them. And so because those plants, plant parts are all above ground, that carbon is susceptible to different things like wildfire, disease, insect infestation, drought, all of those things can release carbon back into the atmosphere, especially wildfire. So some people think, well, maybe we can just sequester more carbon by planting more trees. Let's plant trees everywhere. Let's plant them in our grasslands and in our prairies. But that's really not a viable option. One of the reasons that that's not an option is that grasslands also store carbon. So grasslands store carbon in a little different way. Most of the carbon that they're storing is either in their roots or it's in the soil that surrounds their roots. And so this makes it a much more stable place for carbon to be stored. So when grasslands and prairies do burn, the carbon that's stored below ground is less likely to be lost back up into the atmosphere. So both of these plant types are really important for carbon storage for different reasons. But with the increase in wildfire frequency, maintaining our grasslands as grasslands is really, really important for the services that they're providing in addition to their ability to sequester carbon. So if you'd like more information about managing grasslands and wildfire, visit the SunUp website.